students dislike intensely in exams are discussion questions. And the reason for this is because there generally is more than one mark allocated to an issue or a discussion point, and students don't know how to structure this or how it actually, how they should go about answering this. So I want to talk about how to help you structure your discussion questions to make sure that you always get the mark available. The first thing we have to know is that discussion questions require application. A discussion requires you to identify a set of theory and apply it to a set of circumstances. So I'm going to ask you to say, um, I want you to identify the law that goes behind this, the guidelines, the theory here, and then tell me what's going on in this particular situation here and how these two measure up. When I ask you to discuss something, you need to discuss it within a certain context. So I say, um, discuss whether this person is breaking the law. The only way, or the only way that you are able to do that, the only way you can say to me whether or not this person is breaking the law is by stating the theory, quoting the theory and saying, well, in terms of the law, the law says A, B, C, and D, and the person is doing E, F, and G, therefore they're not, you know, they're not complying with the law. So when we are required to discuss something, you have to discuss it in terms of the theory, but it's not a pure theory question. So it requires you to say for this particular set of circumstances, this is what's going on here. In most cases, for each discussion point and for each issue, there is more than one mark allocated to a particular area. This means that you're going to need speed to get through it. You have to identify all the issues that the question raises, and then for each of those issues, you want to make sure that you get more than one point down, more than one item down on there so that you can get the maximum marks. And obviously it means that you have to have theoretical knowledge at your fingertips in order to use this. And we're going to talk about a structure now. How do we develop a structure for answering this? The best way to do this over the years, it's not... It's not a perfect formula, but if you're looking to begin your discussion questions, where do I start? How do I make sure I'm always going to get the marks? Then this structure is going to be really good for you. I talk about the structure as the should be, the is, and the so what. Okay, so it's nice and simple to remember, nice and simple to think about. Okay, if I say to you, I want you to discuss whether or not this person has broken the law. How do you go about doing that? First of all, you need to quote the theory to me and say, in terms of the law, the law states that you are allowed to do A, B, C, D. That is quoting theory. In other words, you're saying this is what should be going on. This is what the person should be doing. When you apply something, you're saying in this particular set of circumstances, the person has done this. So we're saying this is what's going on at the moment. So this is what they should be doing. This is what they are doing. Okay, and then your last part is to say, so what does that mean then? Does that mean that the person is acting against the law or not? And that's where you bring the two together and you say, you know, if the, if, if the law says you should do this and you are busy doing that, it means that you are not complying with the law. Okay, so when we look at that, what I'm saying is, so what? How do you feel about it? Your discussion questions, discuss what the company should be doing. If I say to you, discuss whether or not the company has acted in accordance with the company law on this thing. You say, well, the company should have done this. They should be doing that. They are supposed to be doing this. This is what they're currently doing. The company has done this. The company is about to do this. The directors have done this. Therefore, they are contravening the company law. Therefore, the co they, are, they are working in accordance with the company law. So these three items, for every single one of your discussion points, you need to make sure that you tell me what they should be doing for that discussion point, what they are doing, and how you feel about it. This means that for every issue you raise in a question, you've got to make sure you are able to understand and quote the theory and state where the theory comes from, and what the company is doing, connect the two, and then tell me how you feel about it. So those are three things that you've got to be able to do for every discussion point, for every single question. That means that you're sitting on a potential of three marks for every single discussion point. So you may come across a case study and there's only three things in there that need to be discussed. If that's the case, you've got three things that need to be discussed times three things that you need to discuss for all of them, which gives you a total of nine that you're going to be looking at. Keep this in mind. It means that you're going to have to work faster. It means that you're going to have to get used to doing this. And obviously this is going to take some practice. But in this way, you will never ever lose marks for discussion questions. And you will always know that you have the marks. 
Keep in mind as well, if they allocate a mark for theory and a mark for application in exams, sometimes they don't allocate marks for conclusions through the discussion, and we'll get to that just now. If you quote only the theory, that's what we call knowledge dumping, and you don't apply it, and you don't say to me, in this case, the company is doing X, Y, Z, you are not going to get any marks at all. They won't even give you the theory mark. They are only interested in giving you the theory mark if you are able to apply that and say in this particular situation, they have done this, they haven't done that. So purely by stating theory, you're looking at failing, okay? We're not interested. If I ask you to discuss something, I'm not asking you to rehash theory at me. I'm asking you to tell me what's going on in this particular company. So you say, according to company law, they say this, this is what they're doing, and therefore, this is what's going on. So we're gonna go through, obviously, some examples throughout, um, throughout the semester, throughout the time we spend together. We're gonna to make sure that we cover some examples on this, but you need to come back to a basic structure for yourself. What should they be doing? What is going on and so what? How do you feel about it? Does it make it right? Does it make it wrong? How do you feel about it? Should be, is, so what? And that's how you're going to structure your discussion questions to make sure that you always get the marks.